Hey, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be going over the next uh, part of the Red Hat System Administrator course. This will be going over grep. If I have time, I will go over regular expression, but I think these 10 minute uh, videos gives me more time to focus on each little objective. And also um, I can be more granular about the stuff that I'm doing. So this is a great part about it. I'm not rushing through things. I'm taking my time and trying to explain it uh, real well to you guys. All right. So we're going to talk about grep and um, the part of the objectives right here. It will be use grep. The next video will be regular expressions. And then we'll go to this one and then slowly go through the list until we're done with the first um, actual objective of the test. All right. Um, I didn't go over this. But this is just pretty much using the man pages and learning how the commands are, you know, issued out. But the main thing is that we'll do this on this, when we get to this part, that's when we'll talk more about the correct syntax and all that. All right, so what is grep? Grep is a powerful command line tool for searching text and files. It stands for Global Regular Expression Print. Here are some of the flags. We'll go over it now. All right, let me, uh, cool, let me put my terminal on. All right, so the first thing we have to understand is grep searches for files or text in a file. So for example, when I type in ls, what this does, it lists the current files and directories of where I'm at. So anything that's in this directory that I'm at, this is what it prints. Right, as in the PWD command, stands for print working directory. That prints your working directory. So that's exactly where I am in the file system, right? For example, you can be in your documents folder. Whatever's in your documents folder, you type in ls, and inside your documents folder, boom, everything pops out. But at this point, I'm in my home folder. So of course, I'm gonna have music, pictures, public, because I'm in my home folder, right? But if I wanna filter this output out, you can use the pipe symbol as we talked about in the earlier video. All of the output will go to the next command, which is grep, right? And this um, command or utility, right? What it does, it will filter out whatever you search for. So if I type in file, it will look for anything that has a file. If I do dash i, it will be case insensitive. It's a lowercase. So as you can see here, it doesn't matter if i is uppercase or l because any of these characters can be uppercase or lowercase. So it searches for each two, four, six, eight. So eight different characters, that's what it searches for. And that's what dash i does, okay? So now the next command we're gonna go is over the dash l. So I'll show you how that one works. So if I grep hello for file1.txt, I have two files and they both have a sentence in it, okay? So if I do this, right, grep, hello, file1.txt, file2.txt. As you can see here, when I'm grepping this, um, it looks like only file1 has a hello, but let me search this real quick. We're gonna do cat on file2 to see what's in there. Okay, I only have red in here. So let me echo, and I'm gonna put this has red, this has hello, and then I'll put red at the end, just an extra word in, at the end. And then let me add it to file2.txt. We're gonna overwrite that file. Okay, cool. So now that I run this command, what it does, it gives you the first file because this is the first file that you searched. And then there's the second file that you searched. So this, anything after this, after you put your flags, so the syntax is grep, and then you type in your flags, and then you type in your files, right? The reason why I do that is because this means as many files as you want, you can put in here, right? That's the one, but I didn't put any flags in it. So that's why you're just getting the raw output out, out of it. So this is file1.txt, this is file.2, right? And what this is searching is for any string hello inside the file, right? So both of these files have, have hello. But let's say if I wanna search, if I want, um, instead of just having all this extra output, I don't need all this. All I want is for you to give me the files that contain this word in it. That's what the dash L will do. So the dash L will do that for you. So we're gonna type in hello. As you can see, file1.txt and file2.txt. So these, both of these 
are the files that we need. We don't need all this extra stuff. Yeah, this is good to see what's inside of it, but we're looking for the word hello and what files contain it, right? But let's say we want to look for files that don't have the color or the word red in there, right? So we can do red. As you know, it should be only one. So perfect. It'll only print out file one dot text because that one does not have the word red in it, right? So if I type in LV, you can combine the flags. You're only going to get file one dot text because you don't want all this extra stuff. You just want the file that does not contain the word red. As we go to before, as we can see, this had the color red in it, or the word red in it, right? This was omitted, and that's how dash V works. All right, and I think that's all of them. I think the only other one was the recursive one. Under one, we're going to go to this directory. We're going to go inside, and then we're going to make two files. We're going to call it um, hello123, and then we're going to go to file1.txt. And then I'm going to do echo hello123 at file2.txt. If I do this, I'm inside this file now. What I can do is do grep. I can do hour. And then what I can do is look for hello. As you can see, before I had to specify file1 and file2. Now I don't because it's basically, since I'm in this directory, it'll look for every single file that has the word hello in it. And if I don't want all that extra stuff, I can do the L, and this will just give me the files directly. All right. And that is, in a nutshell, how to use grep. Um, one thing I do want to go over is, I, you know, a lot of people, I mean, I do this sometimes too, but um, if you do like um, cat, let's say if you do cat on file1.txt, right? Um, do not use grep-i uh, hello because it defeats the purpose, right? So you're just printing this out to the screen, when in reality, all you have to do is grep-i hello, right? That way you can search for the uh, character inside that file. You can do this, right? So instead of using two commands, you use one command for the same thing. But this has been practiced, you know, when I first started this, how I learned, but just when you're using grep, this is what grep is for. Grep is looking for um, strings inside of files and also for filtering output. So when uh, output is being filtered to it, you can narrow down the directories in the file that you're looking for. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please stay tuned. I'll be dropping part three uh, tomorrow, and this will be going over uh, more about the regular expressions. Thank you.